Hello everyone, this is TechBizmo, and today I'm going to be taking a look at React OS. Let's get started. So here we are on the React OS Distro Watch site. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at what um, React OS is and a little bit about React OS. Now, first of all, first off, React OS is not Linux or Unix. It is basically just its own operating system. Um, you know, it's it, it is still counted as a Linux di uh, distribution, though. Um, you know, basically, um, React OS is is based on the Windows NT. Um, appearance, you know, um, it's basically Windows um, NT, but the open source version, you know, the version um, that is, it's kind of Linux, it's still open source though, so I would still, I would still sort of call this Linux, even though, you know, it's not Linux, it's basically its own operating system. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and just take a look at this, and then we will get into the installation of React OS. Um, now, keep in mind, uh, this installation, it, it'll be scaled, it, it's going to look like this the whole video, and I apologize for that. Um, but anyway, let's get into this. So the OS type, as you can see, it says other OS. It is based on its, itself, so, you know, it's independent. It is not based on anything. They came up with their own um, things, you know. Um, origin is Russia. Um, architecture is i386, x86, and x64. Desktop is React OS Explorer. Um, the category is desktop, old computers, and live medium. The status is active, of course. The popularity is 17, 504 hits per day. So I'm just going to go ahead and read uh, aloud this description right here. Um, so anyway, let's get started with that. React OS is a free and open source operating system based on the best design principles found in the Windows NT architecture. Written completely from scratch, React OS is not a Linux-based system and it shares none of the Unix architecture. The main goal of the React OS project is to provide an operating system which is binary compatible with Windows. This will allow Windows applications and drivers to run as they would on a Windows system. Additionally, the look and feel of the Windows operating system is used such that people um, accustomed um, to, the f to the familiar user interface of Windows would, would find React OS straightforward. The ultimate goal of React OS is to allow people to use it as an alternative to Windows without the need to change software they are used to. So anyway, let's get into the main review of, well, not really review, but uh, let's get into the main look at of this um, operating system. So uh, basically, this is the installation um, of React OS 0.4.7. Um, so basically, I've learned uh, that all I need to do is press enter, 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 enter. And the reason why is because it's got everything correctly. So we'll just go ahead and press enter the all the times. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and minimize that. Um, install, uh, enter, and F12. Then that and React OS. And that is how fast the installation is for React OS. Um, I mean, this is a very lightweight, um, lightweight, um, uh, what's it called? A lightweight operating system. As you can see, um, let me go ahead and take a look. Uh, this is 130 megabytes. Wow. Um, so yeah, let's get into the setup uh, part of it. I like how there's a setup after the installation, you know, very, very much like uh, the uh, original Windows environment. So welcome to the React OS setup wizard. This wizard installs React OS on your computer. The wizard needs to gather some information about you and your computer to set up React OS properly. C click next to continue with the setup. So next, we'll just click next again and then tech bismo. Then next, <clears throat> then we'll make this, we'll just make this TBVB, like so. And then I'll just add my password, like that. Um, the passwords do not match. I believe, yeah, I messed up on this one. So, there we go. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and select Eastern Time. <clears throat> And then the time, um, it should, yeah, automatically adjust. Um, go ahead and do 4 o'clock. 
since that is the current time. And the one we are going to be doing in this video, um, we're going to be doing the classic theme since this is the one that is, you know, mainly um, based on the Windows NT um, environment. Um, and we'll do typical settings, then no, and then finish, and then boot. And let's see what we get. And keep in mind, guys, this is my first look at React OS. I have never used this before, never taken a look at this. I haven't even taken a look at uh, reviews and stuff. This is basically just, you know, first look type scenario. So, uh, install driver, do not show again. What's going on? Maybe I need to choose that one. There we go. Okay, here we are in React OS. So yeah, as I said, you know, it's going to be a little scaled. It's going to be a little uh, uh, bad quality, you know, um, standard definition. Um, but hopefully that is fine for you guys. I apologize for that. Hopefully next time um, we will get much better quality for this type of um, scenario. Anyway, here we are in React OS. So the first thing you see is, of course, your big blue background and, you know, this stuff down here, your taskbar, menu, and then your programs right here. So the programs that we have is my computer, my documents, my network places, recycle bin, applications manager, command prompt, and read me. Um, yeah, just, you know, a bunch of stuff you really don't need to read, so um, bye bye file. <laughs> you know what, let's, let's, okay, I can't restore it, never mind. Um, anyway, um, so uh, I guess the first thing we're going to take a look at is our panel or taskbar, um, because, you know, I used to be a Windows user, it is called the taskbar, so... Um, the first thing we have on the uh, taskbar is your menu. Then you've got just this white, like high contrast themed bar. And then you got uh, your language and, you know, your locale um, volume, your uh, safely remove hardware. Uh, I remember that. I remember that in Windows. Uh, your, uh, your battery. So, yeah, you got that. Um, and you got your clock, your date and time, all of that. So, Here's a nice little look at your date and time, your clock. You can see that's very nice. We're actually going to uh, see if we can fix this a little bit. Adjust this to make it look a little bit better. We'll do a little bit wide like that, uh, just so it's it looks nice. All right. Here we are back. Um, sorry about that. Um, anyway, um, hopefully, I, I really hope, guys, this is okay with you. Um, just, just comment down below. I mean, I'm not doing that. That's, that's too bad. <laughs> um, you know what I can do? I can, I can do that. Look at me. Look at me go. <laughs> I, I guess this is fine. It's, it's a little bit stretched, but that'll do. Um, anyway. So, uh, yeah, you got, as I said, you got some of that stuff down there, and then the menu. So this menu is very basic, you know, it's that, it's that classic, very nice-themed uh, menu that you get in your older versions of Windows. I really, li I've always liked the, this uh, menu. You got your classic run, and, you know, you can do, uh, you can do your run programs. Uh, I, I wonder, does it have percent app data percent? Is that? Yep, application data. Yep, that is. But, you know, since I don't have any applications, um, I believe you can uh, get stuff like uh, like some programs and, you know, a web browser in here. Um, but it doesn't seem to me like we're connected to the internet. Internet and network. Let's actually uh, take a look more in the menu so you have your programs which is you know very empty empty uh settings very it's you know just basic uh, help and support you got run log off administrator and shut down um in settings you got uh, you can see control panel what's internet settings um are we able to we not able to connect I, I'm not sure how to connect. I mean, uh, I should actually be connected by default because, you know, I got internet on my actual computer. Um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, you got your printers as well. You got dummy printer. 
I love how they like mimicked everything, like the theme and everything. That's really cool. Um, as I said, you got date and time right there. I already looked at that, but whatever. Um, you got mouse, so I can change the sensitivity of my uh, trackpad. Uh, network connections, nope. Uh, keyboard. Um, you got there. Uh, add hardware. So yeah, I, be I believe that's, you know, plugging in stuff like external hard drives and that sort of stuff. You got OpenGL stuff, user accounts. You got Wine as well, as you can see down there. Phone and modem options. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be loading up though, but that's fine. I mean, I don't really think anybody cares about dial-up anymore. <laughs> so yeah, you got your fonts as well. Deja Vu Sans, my favorite. Actually, Deja Vu Sans Ultra Ultra Light is my favorite. Um, add and remove programs. We already looked at that, but whatever. Um, folder options. Uh, you got your system, so you yeah, know this is gonna show you stuff like your computer name, hardware, advanced stuff. Um, you know your computer specs. So I I don't have one gigahertz and. I actually have I actually did allocate eight gigabytes of RAM into this PC, but I guess I guess React OS only since it is it, it is actually an older operating system. I think it came out um I don't know when it came out um it's like it was like nineteen something um, when this when this um, operating system came out, but you you know whatever um, it's still pretty cool. It's still pretty up to date. I believe if I actually install this or you know just simply plugged in the USB to my computer, then, or, you know, there's actually no live boot, I don't think, um, so, yeah, uh, I mean, there is a live one, but I had a couple problems with it, um, but anyway, I, I just used the real one, um, so, yeah, I, um, I guess if I did try on my actual computer, I would be able to get connected online and stuff, but, you know, we'll just, we'll just find out, maybe that'll be another video for later, um, accessibility, you got there, not gonna take a big look at that display so you can change your wallpaper ooh Let's see if this is nice very uh very pixelated <laughs> got command prompt you can change the name of that oh I like that you can like sort your programs on your desktop like wherever you want and this is starting to look like my my big brother's computer since he's a mess anyway uh yeah you got your classic recycle bin you know i just i just love the theme um love the i love the look of this my computer documents stuff like that so yeah guys i guess i guess that concludes this video i guess this that concludes this video of out of taking a look at you know uh, my my taking a look at this is kind of be kind of going to be a, be a uh, newer series where um it's not going to be like a review i mean it's sort of going to be a review uh, but it's just going to be sorted into stuff like uh you know um uh, stuff like uh, i guess uh you know i'm going to do i'm soon going to be doing stuff like windows xp um, using Windows XP in 2018 and, you know, Windows XP from a Linux user, you know, stuff like that. I might be adding that stuff to stuff like, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, taking a look at, um, into, uh, you know, since I am going to add a new playlist uh, on my YouTube channel called, uh, taking a look at since, uh, I mean, I did, I did, uh, you know, mistake the, or I did, uh, use taking a look at, um, differently a while ago, but I think I'm going to start doing it now as like stuff I've never seen, you know, um, stuff that's not even Linux, you know, maybe even, uh, taking a look at Mac OS, you know, um, we'll see if I can get that working in a virtual box and, you know, we'll see what I can get in the future. Um, I might be, I'll, I'll, I'm planning on making another video, uh, today, but you know, just, just don't, don't be, uh, don't be excited and, uh, ready for that because you know me, um, uh, busy, busy life. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that is, that concludes this, this video. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching, as I said, like, 7,000 billion times. Um, <laughs> I will catch you guys in the next one.